Hey, chapter five of Honors Algebra two is going to be going over quadratics. First couple chapters, all we dealt with were linear equations, linear systems, graphing linear uh, functions, solving linear functions. Now we're going to be looking at quadratics now. 5.1 is a pretty long chapter. I'm going to split up into a couple sections. Uh, we go from identifying equations, uh, graphing by hand, graphing with the calculator, application problems, and then we write equations for quadratics. Now there's three forms of quadratics that we're going to look at. Okay? We have the standard form, which is the one I think we're going to deal with the most. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Vertex form is y equals a, x minus h squared plus k. Intercept y equals a, x minus p, x minus q. One thing to notice in each one of these versions, each one of these variations of the equation, there's an a term. That a term is going to be your leading coefficient. It's going to be what tells us if the quadratic is opening up or down when we start graphing it. So what makes a quadratic a quadratic? Okay. Here's an equation, general equation in standard form. That square, it's the degree, it's the highest exponent, and it's a square, that's what makes it a quadratic. Okay? Everything we dealt with so far in chapters one, two, and three were linear equations. There was no exponent, or at least you didn't see the exponent because you don't put the exponent when it's a one. Here we have a degree of two, and that's what makes it a quadratic. Now, for this first part, just identifying if it's a quadratic or not, question is, is the function linear or quadratic? Label the terms as quadratic, linear, and constant. So there's two things we're going to do here. We're going to decide, is it a quadratic or linear? And then we're going to name each one of the terms. The first thing we need to do is put it in standard form. So a lot of them, you just need to quickly do some distributive property simplifying. So to put it in standard form, for this one, I'm just going to do some distributive property. So looking at this, 5x squared plus 15x, since the highest exponent is 2, this is a quadratic. So the whole thing is a quadratic, and if you're looking at which terms are what, the term with the square is going to be the quadratic term. So this here is the quadratic. The term with just the x variable is the linear. And if there's a term that does not have a variable, that would be considered the constant. Okay? It's constant because there's no variable. No variable to plug into, so that's never going to change. Okay? The next one here, if we combine these like terms, we have x squared here is 5x squared minus 2x squared minus 3x squared. Well, they cancel out. 5 minus 2 minus 3 is 0. Then we have 3x and 8x minus 9 just so I come down. In this case here, there is no square. All we have is 11 x minus nine. So the whole equation here is going to be linear. And there is no quadratic term because there's no square like in the one above. So this is gonna be our linear term. It has the x with it. And this is going to be our constant. Again, no variable with that constant. The nine is just going to stay a nine, okay? So, this is just identifying, is it linear, is it quadratic, and what the terms are. These terms are going to be important because when we start graphing it by hand, you're going to need to be able to pick out your terms as quadratic and linear for your, well, I'm going to tell you now, it might not make sense, your A and your B when you start finding the vertex. Okay, so that's the very first part, intro to quadratics.